Hi, uh, Tuesday, uh, July 12th, 2016. Maneco 64 here, home of uh, alternative uh, economics and contrarian views. I like to talk about Japan today, uh, especially with uh, the news coming out uh, yesterday that uh, Abe and uh, Kuroda, you know, the government of Japan and the BOJ are preparing... Um, preparing themselves to announce uh, helicopter money. They won't call it helicopter money, of course, but, but it will be that. It looks like uh, zero interest rates, negative interest rates, QE has failed. Uh, the Japanese uh, economy is in the doldrums. The yen continues uh, to, to, to go up. I know it's gone down the last couple of days, to yesterday and today, but... Uh, Abenomics is failing. And uh, with that in mind, there's an interesting article uh, on Bloomberg, actually. And it's a very good article, in my opinion. Uh, and it talks about Japan's gold sales jump thanks to Abenomics worries. So basically what it's talking about is how a lot of the common Japanese person, the public, not the economists, of course, <laughs> <laughs> or the, uh, you know, yeah, not the economist, but the public in Japan is actually betting against the central bank. And how do you do that? Well, I've made a video about that. And the way to bet against the central bank is to, uh, it, you know, save in gold or silver. Uh, because that's the, you know, that's the barometer uh the barometer for the health of the monetary system and gold and silver you we need to think about it as in and grams and how much you buy in terms of weight the price is actually uh, a vote of confidence on the paper currency so when the dollar price of gold goes up that means that you need more of that that paper money to buy gold uh, that's all it is when the uh, yen price of gold goes up it just shows you that people have less confidence uh, in the uh, in the Japanese yen, the paper currency, and you, you need more of it to get one ounce or a gram of gold. Uh, that's how we need to look at it. So it looks like uh, Japan, even though the yen has appreciated quite a bit this year, uh, the against the dollar, the the uh, yen price of gold is actually appreciated more. It's gone up 7%. And uh, it looks like sales of physical gold in Japan are going up. And there's even talk that uh, there's Japanese, the Japanese are also starting to buy physical gold in Switzerland to store it outside uh, Japan because uh, the government and the BOJ might worry, you know, if they do QE and give money straight to the public, that they might take that to buy gold. So I guess they don't want that. So, uh, yeah, it notes here that the yen has gone up 17% on the year against the uh, the dollar, but the uh, against gold, uh, the Japanese yen has dropped 7.5%. So, and it also... Sh also shows that one of the reason, reasons the yen is going up against the dollar is not because people uh, value the yen more. It's because they're selling uh, foreign investments because they don't really have confidence in foreign investments at the moment and they're repatriating uh, yen. So uh, pretty interesting article. I think, in my opinion, they're doing the right thing, the Japanese. Uh, the same thing for the United Kingdom, you know, we've had a big devaluation of the pound, uh, not only since Brexit, but since uh, September 2014, you know, we dropped, uh, you know, the pound used to buy $1.70 in 2014, and now we can only buy $1.30, so that's a big devaluation there as well. I think Brexit, uh, yeah, might have uh, triggered a little bit of a you know, devaluation, but I think it's been the policy. Uh, it's a covert policy of the Bank of England and the UK government, be they be the government uh, Labour or Conservative. 
Uh, they need to devalue the pound because we got so much debt. Uh, a lot of, well, the, our government debt isn't as big as Japan's government debt, but uh, our consumer debt is bigger uh, than I would say probably the Japanese consumer debt. So we need to devalue as well. And there are other countries in the same position, the United States, they've got the debt. Uh, national debt is running towards almost 20 trillion. Uh, deficits aren't shrinking. And you, you, you've got all the unfunded liabilities with the you know baby boomers starting to retire and the population of uh, pensioners or you know retirees increasing. It's going to be really difficult. So they need the Western governments have a, a demographic time bomb as well. And so Japan is the worst country in terms of that. So I don't blame the Japanese for um, getting going out there and starting to buy physical gold. Earlier, I think it was last year or earlier this year, uh, there was talk that Japanese uh, yeah, consumers or Japanese people were buying a lot of safes to stuff uh, uh, yen notes in it, bank notes. And now I guess they're starting to buy physical gold. And uh, so with that, I, as I look here, gold is pretty much unchanged this morning, 1355. We did drop yesterday uh, from a, a very good uh, move up on uh, Friday. I think we closed around 1370. Silver is fairly steady, 2035. It's up about seven cents. I think uh, technically, uh, gold, uh, yeah, might have a little bit of difficulty getting through the 1380, 7580 level because that is a very key technical level. It's a 38.2 retracement, uh, Fibonacci retracement of the move from 1921 in 2011 to the low last year of 1046. And uh, 38.2 retracement is is called uh, in technical analysis the golden mean uh, and that's a Fibonacci term and basically it's a, a, a proportion found in nature and in markets for example you know if you look at your hand uh, that's one your hand is one and usually the distance from your fingers to the tip of your uh, fingers is 38.2 percent of the hands. Uh, same thing with uh, the human body, you know, from the waist up to the head. There's all kinds of measurements uh, that uh, bring that number back. So yeah, that, I think that's why it, we might have a little bit of difficulty getting through that level. But once it gets through there, I think gold, and, uh, gold will continue to go up and silver is doing quite well too. Nothing has changed, uh, f you know, fundamentally. Uh, <laughs> Don't believe that uh, non-farm payroll number. The Fed's not going to hike rates anytime soon. If anything, they're going to be doing QE. And uh, yeah, I'll put the uh, link to this Bloomberg article about how, uh, you know, the Japanese are buying the unprintable currency. And that's true. You can't print gold, can you? You've got to mine it and work hard for it. Uh, so if you like uh, this uh, video, please uh, give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.